Hi, I'm Claire from the Children's Department of the Bethel Public Library. I'm back with a book talk for you on another book by Jory John, illustrated by Pete Oswald. This book is The Good Egg, and it's available on our website via Overdrive. This author-illustrator duo is a favorite of mine because I really appreciate the humor presented in their stories. There are little details that add to the story in both the writing and illustration that will definitely make you laugh if you take the time to notice them. As the title tells us, this book is about an egg, a very good egg, who does all kinds of good things. This could lead to a discussion of some of the things we do to be a good egg. To help, this egg will water plants, change a tire, and in one particular illustration, he'll carry groceries for another character who's a slice of bacon. Get it? Bacon and eggs? I love it. There are so many little jokes embedded in this book. I highly recommend that you take the time to discover and share them together. Some are less obvious, but some are right there up front for the giggles. Like the names of the good eggs roommates, or should I say, carton mates. There's Meg, Peg, Clegg, Shell, Shelly, Sheldon, Shelby, Egbert, and Frank. And other Frank. The others in this dozen aren't exactly good eggs. And how do you think this makes the good egg feel? Well, he worked hard trying to keep the other eggs in line, but eventually he started to crack under the pressure of perfection. Our good egg then sets off on a journey of discovery, learning how to take care of himself, not worry so much, and that perfection is not the most important thing. At this time when worries abound and responsibilities are many, this story may help both kids and their grown-ups with a reminder that to do as the book says, be good to your fellow eggs and be good to yourself. And if the pressure has gotten to be too much, our cracks can heal if we take good care of ourselves. Stay well, everyone. I think we're all pretty good eggs.